What's going on guys, T2RX6 here, back for another office review, and today we're taking a look at the Generations Windblade, and uh, let me just say, this is so close to working, and yet it's not there, and I was so disappointed when I saw this um, in its jet mode for the first time, because I wanted it to be so good. Um, you might be noticing that this keeps popping open, it's because it doesn't really clip in any real meaningful way, so um, yeah, I don't know. And this this carries over to a lot. Like you can see this gap. It's actually supposed to be closed up like this, but let's see if I can show you here. This little tab, it doesn't actually hold into its crappy little port. I'm sure with some clear nail polish or floor polish I can actually make that hold in better. But this is I just wanted to show it like right out of the pack as it is without, you know, any modifications. You do get the sword that pegs in at the bottom. And uh, here you go, you got the landing gears are just like molded on the legs. They don't fold on in. So she's always got the landing gear down, which kind of stinks. And then her legs here, you can see are quite visible. And they make like, you know, the typical fast pack we see on planes. And it would be so convincing if they put in one extra joint so you could fold these feet down. If these feet folded down somehow, like, and maybe like pegged into the top to sure this up, I think like... This whole thing would have worked a lot better. Uh, as it is, it's just, you know, it's like a shortcut. They went 90% of the way, and then uh, that's it. And uh, you can see on the bottom, all she does with her hands is hold on to part of the wings down there. So, yeah, it doesn't work very good. The uh, VTOLs, they do spin, though not as good as previous incarnations we've seen. You're not going to be able to blow on these and just make them spin. So, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about the jet mode so let's actually get her transformed here so we'll start by unpegging pretty much everything and uh, unpeg the wings from the feet here you can fold these little black pieces up you can fold the camera up so we can actually see everything there we go so we can take these, pull them out, and unfold them. Flip this on over and up like so. Uh, flip her waist around. And let's finish up her feet here. So these rotate around. And you have to take the stupid little high heel out because, of course, she's a girl. She needs a high heel, which doesn't work. And we fold this down. So there we go. There's her foot, and uh, you can already see it's probably, hopefully you can already see it's a recipe for disaster. So I take these, flip the high heel down, flip this. Again, if this type of thing like pegged in somehow, it would work, but you know, now you got this really floppy mess here because this isn't very tight. This doesn't peg at all, so there's that. And again, she's one of the ones that is problematic to try to stand. Um, put her down and see the high heel just kind of pops itself in because it should be pushing against the direction that it transforms or at least be more solid um, yeah you can get her to stand but generally it's just kind of like luck you can see that it doesn't look wrong but that high heel is not actually properly placed in fact I don't even think it's doing much of anything to hold her up at this point so, yeah, it's really, you know, they went 90% of the way and then stopped, and it's a shame. So let's get back to the rest of her. We take this, and we just kind of fold it down on her back in fairly typical Seeker fare, I suppose. Open this up, pop out her beautifully painted head. I gotta say, best part of this toy is just how good the paint job on the head turned out. And it looks less silly in person than I. the pictures online seem to make it. So once you get that, you can kind of peg in her shoulders here. And uh, yeah, I mean, she's pretty well done. We'll just kind of straighten out her arm pads here, her shoulder pads, I should say. And uh, she's a cool figure. She really is. It's just, she's not there. If she was a little more, I'd really, really enjoy her. But there we go 
and uh, you kind of do do what you want with the wings on the back. They are attached in possibly the worst possible way, so there's not a whole ton of stuff you can do with them. They are hinged if you want to fold them in, but then that gives her a really awful back silhouette and uh, even makes it harder for her to, to stand, so pretty much have to hinge them straight and just hope that you'll find some way to make these stupid little heel spurs work out that you'll stand. There we go. Don't touch her. Don't breathe. Nothing. You and YouTube, stop talking. It's going to make her fall. Shh. Shh. We got her. All right. Shh. All right. Here's her short, her sword sheath. Pulls out nice translucent sword. I do like the looks of that sword. There's a couple different ways you can peg this in. So the first way I found is that this is sized perfectly that if you want to you can push this on in here and it does a good job staying and it gives you know that across the back look. The other option you have is to put it on the side of these cockpits there's these little tabs here so you can put it either way you want um, or either side I should say you just kind of peg it in here and then you know she'll hold it off her back if that's what you want or on the other hand it's also sized perfectly that you can actually plug it right into the stress relief pa uh, cut out of her leg and have it hanging off her leg so I do like that there is that multiple ways of hanging it ultimately this one usually ends up being the one that stays on the best but guess what it does it adds more weight to her back and she already has problems standing <sighs> is it sad to say I wish there's a third party kit that would just replace her whole leg assemblies on this thing because really that's the part that hampers her the most like look at these st stupid high heels just constantly go in she's just an exercise in frustration come on Come on. Nope. Oh, my heels are going back in again. Oh, it's just awful. I wanted this to be so good, and it's just, it doesn't work. Alright, so we got it in the office. We use what we have in the office to give her some badass heel spurs. Check that out. Paperclip heel spurs. No more problem standing. Now she's not quite as awful as a toy when that happens. So we can actually show you what she should look like with her wings and, you know, the sword and we can kind of flip her around without it being a problem. I think these are permanent mods now. <laughs> God, it's just not good. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sure you're all tired of me saying it's not good. Let's talk about articulation. Um, her head here is on a ball joint. Oh, maybe it's just a swivel. I thought it was a ball joint. No, it's just a swivel. Or <laughs> it's a ball joint. See, look at the things I do for you guys. All right, now that we got her back together, let's go over the rest of the articulation. Uh, the wings are on this panel, and like I said, you can fold them back or, you know, kind of however you want. You can even articulate them up and down, which is pretty cool, but sort of worthless. We're taking the sword off; it just falls out. Uh, the arms are on a ball joint here. And then you have this swivel shoulder pad, so plenty of range of motion out of the arms, though the shoulder loves to come disconnected like she just took a sword to the to the shoulder. The elbow is a, uh, well, he's got, she's got a uh, bicep swivel, and then you're just your standard elbow joint, which I don't know if mine is cracking or if that's just the paint. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. It feels like a crack, but I've certainly never really done much with the arm to warrant it cracking or couldn't see why that would happen it might have been when the pin got pushed through but pretty sure that's a crack the wrists are on a peg you saw the waist because it's part of your articulation ball jointed uh, hips with the side thigh swivel that is held up by this thigh armor the knee swivel and then really nothing at the feet nothing even remotely usable. So there's that. There's the uh, wind blade figure that most people 
are having a hard time find finding and honestly if I paid more than like fifteen dollars for this even at fifteen dollars I feel like I've been wronged but uh, if I were someone who's gone online and say paid like forty bucks or more like then I'd feel real bad so here we go her sword looks awesome with her sword and uh, one thing the instructions list that I don't understand and mine is pretty difficult to get off but the instructions list that you can take off her headpiece and it's some kind of weapon of some sort I guess you have to use your imagination which I don't seem to have the throwing pan I don't know alright so let's transform this heap back incidentally the mods have to come off for this uh, I'll sell them for ten dollars if you want them shipped uh, just kidding don't don't pay for that anyway let's start by flipping the feet around opening up these red leg portions can you hear the defeat in my voice like it just makes me sad makes me real sad flip these on forward flip these stupid high heels around and fold them on up because we need them to look clean because we can't see everything else of her robot mode here there we go peg these in together and you got something that kinda looks like this we'll open the front chest piece here like so take her head hold it all the way down close it on up and uh, put the nose cone of this down it sounds like it clicked but that just must have been plastic bending because it's not held in in any reasonable meaning way so you take that and this the, the way this tail piece works the way it pegs together leaves a lot to be desired so now that we got that we can take these and rotate them all the way in like so and let's see if we can get these wings because sometimes they bend just the right way to make it a hassle to actually finish the transformation see how my wing is bent here so I gotta rotate it on this little piece there we go finally there we go we got this we flip out the little tail piece here plug it into the back of the plane on both sides which kinda shores this up marginally take the hands oh look one of them automatically gripped it automorph just kidding the stake is what that is so that they both plug in like that you can see my nose cone does a wonderful job holding in place and we got this and you pretty much close these up and like I said one of them on mine works the other one does not and there we go she's back in her jet mode if you really want to put this on and don't think it looks ridiculous then you know plug it on in like that so uh, this is T-Terrar X6 I really can't recommend you get Windblade uh, she's not a good toy if you get her realize that she's only worth her retail price and nothing more and you probably even then are gonna have lots of work to do so I hope you guys enjoyed the office review yet again and I'll see you next time